be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. We knew that there were a lot of Catholic uh, families in the neighborhood, and so we reached out to everybody that we knew, and we were able to get 14 families to host stations in their driveway or front yard, and we made a map up and just invited people to come and do stations in our, in our neighborhood. Adding this element where you're outside and have a chance to kind of reflect in a different type of way involving all of your senses, it, it, it's just a very peaceful and intentional way to be about the day. I was home all day and all day long people are stopping in my yard and praying. And I, I mean, even before we even were, became a part of it by praying, like I just felt so blessed by people being at my house praying like all day. It was incredible. It's so easy to make <coughs> Christmas relevant to kids with a little baby, but trying to explain death and what Christ's death on the cross meant is so much more difficult unless you find creative ways to do it. He asks us, you know, to actually live out our faith in return. And I think sometimes we can say that faith is something like very personal and something just, you know, spiritual inside of us. But he does ask us, you know, like to go outside of yourself and to serve other people and to show other people that, you know, that you believe what this man lived for and died for and you wish to conduct your life accordingly. I mean, is it a little, I mean, yeah, is it a little bit, is it a little bit like, wow, okay, we have a huge picture of Jesus, like, right in front of our house? Yeah, but, I mean, that's the call of Christianity, right? To, like, to be bold and to hopefully share, like, that virtue and love boldly.